In this video, we are going to concentrate on segregation of concrete. What is segregation? We know that cement, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate and water are the constituent materials of concrete. And separation of these materials from each other is nothing but segregation. So segregation can be defined as separation of the constituent materials of concrete. You need to understand that the separation is a natural tendency because we are trying to mix materials of different specific weight or densities. For example, the coarse aggregate high has higher density whereas the cement and water have the lower uh, density. So when you mix materials of different densities, they try to separate based on their densities. So this is a natural tendency to get separated. But we need to make sure that this segregation do not happen. So why should we stop it? Segregation is going to make the concrete weak. It is going to disturb its homogeneity. And because of this, not only it is going to be weak, but also the segregation is going to induce various undesirable properties in the concrete. There are three types of segregations. First one is the coarse aggregate is going to separate out from the rest of the matrix. So when I am saying matrix, matrix is nothing but cement plus fine aggregate plus water. So coarse aggregate is being separated from matrix that is cement, fine aggregate and water which is seen in lean concrete. So what is a lean concrete? A lean concrete is a concrete in which the cement is less compared to amount of water. So in case of lean concrete, in case of lean concrete, high water by cement ratio is adopted. So a concrete in which the water by cement ratio is very high, it is called as lean concrete. So in such a case, this is going to happen. And the second one being separation of grout from the remaining mix. What is grout? Grout is nothing but cement and water. The cement plus water is called as grout. So in the second kind of segregation, this grout is going to be separated out from the fine and coarse aggregate. It is usually seen in wet mixes. This leads to lightens. So lightens is nothing but a cement dust. A weak, milky, powdery layer of cement dust. I believe that you may have seen this lightens but you may not know that it is lightens. Okay, I'm going to show you some pictures so that you get a bit more understanding. And the third one is only water separating out from the rest of the materials. And then water is going to separate from cement, fine and coarse aggregate. Only water is going to separate out. So being lower specific gravity. Of course, I hope you remember that this is what we called as bleeding and bleeding is nothing but separation of water from the re remaining materials okay so you can say that this bleeding is a kind of segregation the image shows you the three types of segregation so this is the third one that we are calling as bleeding as you can see water is going to separate out and it is going to come out as being shown in this image and this is latent so you can see here see cement and water getting separate right cement and water separates so when they separate and come to the top upon hardening a thin film of cement is formed and it is going to be weak and it is going to form dust, cement dust.
this is the type 1 separation of the coarse aggregate from the rest of the matrix as you know the segregation is not a preferable condition we need to find out what is actually responsible for the segregation so, so that you can reduce the segregation the first reason for the segregation is badly proportioned mix so we know that the constituents or the materials of concrete are mixed in a particular proportion cement fine aggregate coarse aggregate and water okay you cannot just simply add them in whatever quantity you want right we are going to mix them in a particular proportion so now the proportion is going to affect this okay so if the proportion is not good what happens is segregation is going to be seen okay so a badly proportioned mix key example intent when you are making the concrete if sufficient binder material is not available that is if cement you added is less compared to the aggregate that you have added because cement with water is the binding material for the coarse aggregate so if cement is added less it is not going to bind the aggregate and aggregate and aggregate is going to separate from the rest of the matrix so a badly proportioned mix causes segregation and secondly insufficient mixed concrete with excess amount of water so if the water that you have added if the water by cement ratio you adopted is very much high than required you are going to say segregation if you are not going to mix the concrete properly by adding large amount of water this is what happens so you need to do you need to take care that you do not add excess amount of water than required and you need to make sure that you are going to mix it that you mix the concrete properly and the third reason being dropping of concrete from heights so I told you in the placing of concrete the concrete will be dropped from a certain height for example if someone is taking with a gamela what they do is they drop the concrete from nearly 5 feet 5 to 6 feet right so when the concrete is dropped from the height the separation of these materials is going to take place in between in the air because materials have different densities here right so they are going to be separated when they are falling from that equipment so the third fourth one being when concrete is discharged from a badly designed mixer when the mixer is not proper the mixing is not done properly because of the faulty mixer what you are going to see is segregation and next conveyance of concrete by conveyor belt i told you this i mentioned this when we are discussing the placing of concrete or transporting of the concrete by using a conveyor belt or wheelbarrow so when wheelbarrow are used or conveyor belts are used long distance haul by dumper or long lift by skip and hoist vertical motion and in some other situations the segregation of concrete is going to be seen so you have to take care of the segregation when you are using these mechanism to transport when you are using these uh, equipment to transport and place the concrete and other thing is excessive vibration of wet mix we know that in the compaction of concrete we are going to vibrate the concrete by various methods right so we are going to vibrate it because we need to re uh, remove the entrapped air which is present in the concrete but if you do this excessively and vibration then what happens is the material is going to separate from each other you are going to see segregation so at any stage if segregation is observed remixing for a short time would make the concrete again homogeneous so segregation and the concrete of homogeneity influence just on the 
ఎఫెక్ట్ చేస్తుంది సో మీకు సెగ్రిగేషన్ అనేది కనబడినట్లయితే మిక్సింగ్ ఆఫ్ ది కాంక్రీట్ అగైన్ ది సెకండ్ టైమ్ ఫర్ ఎ వెరీ షార్ట్ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ ఈజ్ సఫిషియంట్ టు గెట్ ఎ హోమోజీనియస్ మిక్చర్ బ్లీడింగ్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ఎ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ సెగ్రిగేషన్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రిఫర్డ్ యాజ్ వాటర్ గెయిన్ ఇన్ దిస్ బ్లీడింగ్ వాట్ వీ ఆర్ సేయింగ్ ఈజ్ వాటర్ ఫ్రమ్ ది కాంక్రీట్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు కమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ది కాంక్రీట్ అండ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్యుములేట్ ఎట్ ది సర్ఫేస్ సో వై ఈస్ దిస్ హ్యాపనింగ్ when materials of different specific gravity are added to the con- to make the concrete they have a tendency to separate from each other as you can see cement has a specific gravity of specific gravity of around 3.15 coarse aggregate has around 2.65 and water has a specific gravity of 1 so water has low specific gravity so water has the tendency of separating from the remaining materials so this is what is happening because of the low specific gravity among all the ingredients of the concrete water is going to separate from the remaining materials and this bleeding is mostly seen in highly wet mix i mean if water based cement ratio adopted is high and badly proportioned if the materials are not added in the proper proportion and insufficiently mixed concrete i mean proportioning is good but they are not mixed properly in such case bleeding is going to be seen and sometimes sometimes you are going to see that along with water certain quantity of cement is also going to come to the surface along with water in bleeding remember all only water comes out but sometimes along with water certain quantity of faults cement also comes to the top along with water so when the surface is worked up with the trowel and floats the aggregate goes down and the cement and water comes to the top surface manam floats manam cheptunnam last class lo general ga concrete oka wall kattin tarvata gandi entaina మ్యాస్ అని ఏదైతే ఉందో ఫ్లోట్ ఒక వుడన్ ఫ్లోట్ తోని ఆ స్మూదింగ్ చేస్తాడు సర్ఫేస్ ని స్లాబ్ అయితే స్లాబ్ వాళ్ళని అయితే వాళ్ళని వుడన్ పీస్ తో అఫ్కోర్స్ అవి స్టీల్ తో కూడా ఉంటాయి సో వెన్ హీఈస్ డూయింగ్ విత్ దాట్ దిస్ సపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ వాటర్ అండ్ సిమెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ది రిమైనింగ్ మెటీరియల్స్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు బి సేమ్ ఓకే అండ్ దిస్ సపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది సిమెంట్ అండ్ వాటర్ లీడ్స్ టు ది ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ సిమెంట్ పేస్ట్ అట్ ది సర్ఫేస్ and this is what we are calling as latents so the image here is showing you bleeding of concrete so uh, you mostly see this in case of slabs and the latents which i am saying here the cement and water are going to form a thin cement layer on the concrete that is going to make the top surface of the concrete as we right there is no aggregate only cement plus water so it is going to be weak this becomes problem in case of concrete pavements concrete roads so they produce dust in summer and mud in rainy season so at the top surface as this top surface has high water and cement and low aggregate this leads to shrinkage cracks also and the effect of the latents and the bleeding can be minimized by removing the top layer that is the cement and water and the bleeding water in case of bleeding so the removal of bleeding water after proper placing and compaction of concrete will help us to reduce the effect of bleeding on concrete and moreover ఇక్కడ బ్లీడింగ్ అయ్యి వాటర్ ఏదైతే పైకి వస్తుందో ది వాటర్ దట్ ఈస్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ ఇన్ బ్లీడింగ్ ఈజ్ యాక్చువల్లీ ది వాటర్ దట్ వీ యాడెడ్ ఫర్ ది వర్కబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ కాంక్రీట్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ ప్లేసింగ్ అండ్ కాంపాక్షన్ ఇఫ్ ది వాటర్ ఈస్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ దట్ వాటర్ ఈజ్ ది వాటర్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ యాడెడ్ ఫర్ ది వర్కబిలిటీ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ సో రిమూవింగ్ దట్ వాటర్ విల్ నాట్ టు ఎనీ డిక్రీజ్ ఇన్ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఇట్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇంక్రీజెస్ అండ్ మోర్ ఓవర్ as we are removing this workability water after placing compaction and everything 
there is no talk of workability then right so i do not need workability i do not care about workability when the concrete is placed and compacted so this removal of water that is bleeding out which is meant for actually workability is a good thing it reduces the effect of bleeding on the concrete and even in the case of latents also the water and cement paste that is coming out can be removed to reduce the effect of that on the concrete quality so this is all about segregation in this video we have discussed about the segregation and what are the different types of segregation and what are the favorable conditions that are causing the segregation and what are the problems that are going to come with 